weather-wise, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah. it's already causing some problems this morning, too, on the road. Yeah, you know, we've got a couple crashes we've been monitoring. All of 69 northbound. We had a pretty bad crash there overnight. Those lanes have since reopened, which is a good thing, but we continue to watch a secondary crash over on the northwest side, 465 near I-865. We'll keep you posted there if you have any early morning travels. But from a rain standpoint, this is all starting to move out. Want to put this radar into motion over the past two hours. This is kind of the last of it. We've had this line of some uh, light rain at this point. No thunder, no lightning, which is a good thing, but some heavier downpours now making their way across that Indiana Ohio border. Still Richmond getting in on a pretty steady downpour, but that's about it. We're going to get some dry time before a secondary wave of rain returns going to be lighter in nature as we get to the afternoon. But if you notice here, you can really see where that area of low pressure is and this counterclockwise motion that goes around with it. That spotty rain will then wrap itself on the backside of that system bringing more chances to see it later today. In addition to that, it's going to be a very cool wind to go along with it. Northwesterly wind flow today going to start to pump in some of that much cooler Arctic air, and you can see where the warm sector of this weather system still is. Nashville's at 67. 59 though in Louisville, we're at 55 here in Indy and cooler temperatures expected to take back over. In fact, I believe we're going to hold steady now that we're here in the mid 50s through the next several hours today. Then we get into the afternoon. It will be a very subtle recovery into the upper 50s for afternoon high temperatures. That's going to be just about it though. And to go along with it, look at some of these wind gusts we're looking at from 3 o'clock on 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts going to be possible. So any outdoor plans you might have this evening. We're going to call it downright blustery to go along with it. So here we go between now and about two o'clock in the afternoon. Still some spotty showers in the vicinity, slightly more organized rainfall over on the eastern side of the state, closer to that area of low pressure. But already by about six o'clock, temperatures are going to drop to that 50 degree mark and below, and we're going to hang out mainly in the upper 40s this evening. Tomorrow, not much of a change, perhaps just some more dry time. We'll start off in the mid 40s with daytime highs still hovering in the upper 50s, well below average for this time of year. But again, does look like we see more dry time on Sunday now that that system's going to pull a little farther to our east. Here we go at 7 o'clock in the morning, a mix of sun and clouds to get the day started. Same deal into the afternoon. Still going to be one of those mainly cloudy and breezy kind of days. Might once again see a stray shower mainly east during during the early morning hours on Monday, this is about three o'clock in the morning, and then eventually we are looking at some clearing conditions as we get you into your Monday afternoon, and there will be a nice little dry stretch here to get the week started. We're just not going to change up our temperature pattern until about the middle part of the week, so we're going to hold steady in the upper 50s for highs through Tuesday. Wednesday, a warm front lifts in. We're up to 69 with rain returning again on Thursday, and then cooler low 60s to wrap up next week. We'll be right back.